good afternoon today is a sunday i've been work i've still been working on the comics and i just feel like i haven't got any work done i'm having a bad day i'm having a really bad day i am so full of anxiety i was up till 7 a.m and there was a bit where i had an attack so bad i was like shake like my whole body it looked like i was having a fit it was that bad and i was like shaking to the point where my hands were like that and i couldn't move them and i i couldn't move i couldn't do anything i was shaking so bad that my whole body hurt and then i just had so much on my mind and then it was up till seven just like trying to calm down and then i had got some sleep I came to work and i was just getting on with things and then Andrew was like, oh, one of our friends, like a friend I adore, was like, oh, our friend's coming to say hi. And I freaked out. I was like, oh, another thing to distract me, another thing to stop me working. I, I had to put this post on Facebook the other day, like without being an arsehole, like people who literally just come to visit, I asked them very politely not to come visit. Or, or come visit, but not for very long. Because I've been having people come in and like just be here for hours on end and usually i love it but at the moment i've got a lot on i've got rent to pay i've got a shop to process i've still haven't sorted out the back there's a lot to do and when a friend comes to visit whether they expect it or not i feel like if i just carry on working so i stop working or by talking to them i'm just naturally distracted and not working as hard as i want to or can do and i know people are like oh we're happy to help and I don't mean this in a horrible way. You don't know how easy it is to mess up something. Like I know you think, oh, they just price up a game and put it on the shelf. But it's actually not. There's like quite a lot of processing behind it. And also as well, I got quite OCD. I'm very particular and passionate about how I display stuff. So like even sorting these out, there's quite a few rules of where I file away, how I file it away, the pricing structure, how the presenter presentation of something, like depending on the price of an item, um, which comics I want to keep to one side, which comics I want to put in the sale boxes, which comics I don't think are sale boxes um and there's there's loads and you would know that unless i tell you but if i tell you that i have to not work myself so i might as well just do it myself if that makes sense uh, i don't know i'm just i'm really not okay today i'm really not okay i just want to go home and cry for no reason <sighs> i probably should explain that i've been really bad at taking my beta blockers lately and i'm like well if this is what i'm like when i'm not on medication how did i live like this every day And I thought I was doing really well, but I do this. I feel like I'm being really well, so I don't take my medication. And then I get really bad. And I think what it is, is that I can go a day or two without my medication. Because like maybe, maybe I just, my body is naturally like stocked up on that drug. Or my, or, or I don't know. And then I just crash and I get like today and I want to just cry and watch everything. And I don't know what I want to do. That was fake crying, but still. <laughs> Are you careful? Mm. No. Um, this one. So this is all the work we've done now. Now it doesn't look like anything, but what you can't see is we've swapped all the boxes that were already there for other stuff. <laughs> so now all these two rows are just DC sale, which is awesome, and they're all alphabetized and organized and in the right place. And all the labels are plastic dividers with printed titles, no handwritten messy ass cardboard handmade dividers for us only the best this is what they used to look like it was all handwritten or some were printed some were handwritten some were plastic dividers some were cardboard ones that i made because i couldn't afford the dividers and then obviously we've got our full price ones which look even swankier but yeah it'll do for now and then all this oh my god is just more that's completely unprocessed only alphabetized this is process sales stuff from grand central so but that's all marvel so this side is going to be all marvel tomorrow so i've got to put that stuff alphabetically into those boxes along with them because that's marvel grand central oh uh, i'm so tired and we're gonna go get food now aren't we yes yay so i feel uh generally pretty down today which is which is really sucky because i've I was telling my dad recently that I was like, do you know what? I just don't feel that depressed anymore. Um, I don't think I'm depressed though, don't get me wrong. I don't think I'm like, oh, I'm back to being depressed just because I've had a bad day. But um, when I'm sad at the moment, I am like, it's pretty bad. 
And like I said, like I've been up all night really upset. Then I was like having like a weird fit thing. And, and then just today in general has been kind of, focus on me. <laughs> I can't even get my camera to focus on me. Um, so it's been, it's been pretty blah, blah, blah. But um, I know one thing that always cheers me up. And I haven't practiced on it in ages, so. Damn it. I hate my life. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do a ukulele lesson. Cause I am. Uh, I signed up for Musician, which really me off because be aware that if you sign up for even a month, you actually sign up for the year. I wouldn't have done it for the year, but it is, well, I won't lie, it's actually a really good course and I'm really glad I'm doing it, but still. I'm watching this stupidest show and I'm watching this stupidest show, but there is a woman who has fallen in love with a man who is dying. And she wrote him a song, and the lyric is just said, I'm gonna love you and lose you, and my heart's gonna break, but there's no one else I want. This is the path I want to take. <laughs> and it's a stupid, cheesy American sitcom with like this kind of laughter. But oh my goodness, I don't know why that just killed me. <laughs> love. <laughs> Heartbreak sucks. <laughs> I've made it a cute little workspace on the floor with my little table and my ukulele and my crafts and my can and my and my PC and I well, welcome my game PC over here, but I got my, my editing PC over here and then I've got some comics somewhere that I can read. I'm adorable. I'm also sleep deprived. <laughs> deprived? Deprived. De oh go to sleep, Lucy. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'm sorry I look like this. I've just been watching Disjointed. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna start that again. So I forgot to try that again. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to give it a like because it helps out the channel. Subscribe if you like girls who cry to practically anything. Don't forget to check out at Chris Movie Corner because he is an awesome person who has supported me and retweeted many a thing and deserves many a shout out. But he's his first one, congrats. As you can see from his tag, he is very much into movies, which I am too. So if you like movies, go check him out and uh, stick around anyway, because I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Bye.